Hello my butterfly babies and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's pick a card reading is the next three months for you. We want to find out what's going on, what events are happening, you know, what good news and all of the, the things that may be coming down the pipeline in the next three months for you. So in order to help you pick your pile, I'm going to reach into the charm box and pick three charm or one charm for each pile. <laughs> pile number one, pile number one, pile number one. Okay. Oh, look at that. You've got this eye, this psychic eye. Wow. Okay. Pile number two, pile number two. Pile number two. Okay. You've got this little charm that says enough. Okay, I hope you, the lighting is kind of weird, but it says enough. Wow. Okay. And let's see what we have for pile three. Pile number three, pile number three, pile number three. Wow. Oh, look at this. You've got this lotus flower in this circle. It's an open lotus flower. Okay. So these are your three piles. Let's take a look at the three piles. The first uh, pile is this card that says exceeding expect expectations this little um, psychic eye charm it says I soar into excellence with this little penguin uh oh the eye <laughs> the eye okay and my poor nails can't can't do anything with these nails but I don't have nails okay looking deeper it says Deep within me is the majestic radiance, the little charm that says enough, and this elephant. Okay, this little blue elephant. And pile number three, this card that says breaking barriers. It says I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom, and this little pig and the lotus charm. Okay, so these are your three piles. Please pick your pile, and I will see you at your reading. So let's go ahead and we're going to see for pile number one, we want to find out what's going on in the next three months for them. Pile number one, if you selected this card exceeding expectations with a little eye, eye charm, psychic eye, and the um, or the third eye, I should say, and the penguin, this is your reading. You know, right away it says, I soar into excellence. So you can see the figure on the card is just like on the top of the world, hands outstretched like, yes, I did it. Yes. Okay. And I feel that in the next three months, you're going to achieve something that makes you feel very proud and that you're going to feel very, it's like a gratifying feeling. You're going to feel so happy and satisfied that you finally achieved a goal. Okay, and with this penguin, um, the penguins, I'm thinking of penguins. Penguins are, they represent resilience because they live in these, you know, obviously these cold environments with ice and snow, and they're still able to survive and thrive and adapt um, to the environment. So they're very smart in that way that they're able to adapt. And I feel like you have, ad you're adapting and changing what you need to achieve the success. Okay. You're able to, you're not just stuck in one way. You're able to adjust and make changes that will bring you to this excellence and to this success. Um, the other thing with the penguins is that they're very like they're into family. They're very community oriented. Um, they, if you've ever watched the movie, um, what is it called? March of the Penguins. There's um, with, uh, who is the narrator? I think it's, I don't want to say the wrong person, but um, they, if you've ever watched that documentary about a family of penguins, it's like the the parents of the penguin, the, the mothers and the fathers are both equally involved in trying to, you know, bring life and bring, you know, watch the babies and help raise the babies. And so I'm also feeling like there's people that are very supportive around you. Okay. You're going to have a lot of support, whether it's friends or family, or even like financial support will be given to you in the next three months. But let's find out more. Pile number one, what is going on for them in the next three months? This one definitely wanted to jump. Okay. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to take the card, this and this one and this one. Let's see what the first one is. 
epiphany, seek clarity. Yeah. So like I said, when you, you're going to, it's almost, I feel like you're going to come upon like some kind of change or tweak or modification that you're going to make to your project or what you're doing in the next three months. That's going to be like the key that you've been looking for all this time. Like there's, it's almost like you're making like an example is like you're making a cake. Okay. And it tastes good, but there's just something missing. There's just one thing keeping it from being excellent and keeping it from being the best cake ever. And then somehow, like say you get just this epiphany or this moment of like, oh my gosh, vanilla extract or whatever, or whatever, whatever it is. And, and, and then you're like, oh my gosh. And you're given that little missing piece. And then once you put it in, it your project or your plan or your dream that you're manifesting is pushed and elevated to that higher level. And that's when you're going to experience the success. And I do feel with this psychic eye or this third eye, your third eye chakra is really important right now because a lot of information is like you're going to get a lot of psychic information through your psychic eye. It's like information is just going to be channeled into you during the next three months that's going to help you succeed okay so let's see here it says face your fears release the power of fear yeah and i feel like fear and insecurities and doubts are certain things that have been holding you back um i feel like some of you didn't or have not you know you've been feeling like doubting your talents doubting, doubting your skills doubting your value okay and maybe you were second guessing like say what you're trying to manifest your plan or your project but this is confirmation that you, you have nothing to fear because you're headed towards the success you're you're headed for a huge successful situation in the next three months so anytime you have fear creeping into your mind just get rid of it immediately and replace it with a positive you know positive thought so if you start feeling insecure, just say, I'm enough, I'm victorious, I have favor, I'm successful, I'm blessed, and just start, you know, flooding those good thoughts in. Um, and just even if you feel fear, we all feel fear, but there's a saying, feel the fear and do it anyway, okay? Because just you, all of us are going to, you know, it just in any, there's lots of situations where we all feel anxious and fearful, but the reality is you have to just still do it because number one, you're going to find out that, you know, your fear, a lot of times your fear is not justified. Your fear, it was bigger than the situation. You're like, Oh, that wasn't so bad. Once you do it. And then also when you do move forward, when you have those feelings of fear, you, once you do whatever you were afraid of, you have that feeling again of confidence, of success, of, um, you you feel, you know, proud of yourself because you're like, wow, I really, you know, I was able to do it. Okay. So don't let fear hold you back. So let's see what else. What about money, income, career, finance, abundance, prosperity in the next three months? The celebrity, the sun card says I lead with my light. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, this is beyond your wildest dreams. You're exceeding even like you might have, you know, even if you're like, okay, well, I'm hoping this project or this plan or this job or whatever is going to be great. You know, I'm hoping it's going to be, you know, really good. Yes, but it's going to be beyond that. It's going to be something that other people are benefiting from as well. And that's what's going to put you into this celebrity, into this status of, of becoming someone you're the sun to people like you're bringing positive energy into other people's life through your project or your goal or your job or whatever you're doing and that's why you're being put on the top you're on the top of the world this is the world you're standing on it so in the next three months what you're doing is going to manifest successfully and this is going to be the end result this celebrity wow that's that is, and that's why, again, there's no need. I mean, yes, you're going to feel fear because you've never done certain things before and you've never experienced certain things, but you have to just keep going because the fear is more like, you know, it's just a human emotion, but you just have to push through it because look what you have waiting for you. Okay. So let's see what else. What about in love? Pile number one, what do they have going on in love in the next three months? Please. Wow. This one wanted to pop. Please speak and tell us. Let's see. 
moment. Think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. Yeah. So I'm hearing you're good. There's going to be a lot of like you're going to go down memory lane and it's going to generate a lot of positive energy because you're going to remember like very special moments, romantic moments, tender moments, sweet moments that you had with you know, the person that's special to you, whether it's a past relationship or a current relationship. And by like reliving those moments, it's actually like raising that love vibration. Okay. And it's not going to just enhance your love as far as like romantic love. It's going to enhance the love, like a love vibration that you're getting, giving off. I'm seeing like a pink aura of love that's going to come off of you when you generate and, you know, remind yourself of those good memories and that that pink love aura that's going to surround you is going to attract people it's like you know like bees to honey okay and that's why you're the celebrity because people are going to be drawn to you it's like a charismatic um magnetic draw that people are drawn to you okay so let's see what else pile number one what do they have going on in the next three months I'm also hearing like with this back to this penguin that you're like, you're preparing for a new season. Okay. Like you're, you're preparing for a, a new stage in your life, a new season. Whoa. Okay. So you've got two cards. Let's see for your spirit animal. Okay. It says life is speeding up. Yeah. The number two. And that's why you're going from, you know, just your normal life to this, to this fast paced celebrity, you know, this being on top of the world or on top of your, your game or whatever, the top of your, whatever you're working on. Okay. So life is going to get hectic and fast. So you want to make sure that you take time to do, you know, do self care and have time to relax and don't let yourself get overrun or overburdened because there's a lot of exciting things happening but you need that physical and emotional and spiritual energy to keep you going so that you can really fully experience all these great things. Okay, and then you have number 23, Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. Yeah, so this is divine protection that you have. So again, it goes back to the spheres. Yeah, you might feel them, but you have divine protection. So just think of yourself, source, spirit, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. They're like your, you know, your unseen bodyguards. So yeah, you feel fear, but like if you could only see that you're surrounded by all of these people and all of, you know, a spirit, source, spirit, everyone on the other side is surrounding you and protecting you. Okay. So you, you just have to kind of remember that you can even like, I like to even sometimes think about it. It's like, yeah, I might not see it, but I can feel it and I know they're there. Okay. So let's find out the next three months. There's a lot of excitement coming in the next three months. So you, like I said, you want to be ready. So let's see. What about for self-care? What do they need to do in the next three months to handle all this excitement and all this new changes, this new season? Okay. Sound healing. Okay, yeah, and what I'm hearing, these are like um, Tibetan, the um, the bowls, the sound bowls, okay? I'm going to link this in the, um, I'm going to link some videos for Tibetan sound bowl, like sound healing, okay? You want to listen to that. That'll help calm and soothe you. It'll help take away your fears um, and just zone into that love frequency, that pink aura. Okay, rest. Okay, so yeah, that's just straightforward. You want to make sure you're getting enough sleep because you have a lot going on that requires a lot of energy. Okay, nourish your temple. Okay, so this goes right along with it. You want to eat good, healthy foods at this time. You know, foods that make you feel good and help your digestive system. You know how sometimes you eat something really heavy. It tastes delicious, but then you suffer later because you're like, oh, my stomach. <laughs> So you want to, you know, try to eat foods that you know will, you'll still feel good after eating, okay? Because you have so much going on that you want your body also to be able to work with you at this time. And then write a gratitude list. Yeah, you want to journal. You want to be thankful for what you have now, okay? Because when you're thankful for what you have now, it's it brings this even faster and also it helps you, it's like, you want to appreciate what you have at every stage on your journey. 
So even, you know, you believe me, there's always something to be thankful for. So just, you know, take a page out of your journal and write all the things right now that you are thankful for. Okay. And it's going to help the manifestation process. So let's see what else. Let's get three final messages for the next three months for pile number one. I'm going to shuffle and take three wisdom inspiration advice cards. Okay, pile number one. Let's do one, two, three. You hold the key. Yeah, you are the one that is going to be able to find that missing link. You know, you're going to have that epiphany and that spiritual information to, to get that missing piece, that missing ingredient that's going to make you a success and make your project or whatever you're working on, your job, a success. Wear orange. Yeah, that is the power color. It's so funny because the celebrity card is also orange. So you want to wear orange to enhance that celebrity power that's that you're going to be embracing and experiencing and look at that that's confirmation again you are divinely protected here it is spirit has your back okay so so no worries okay no fears and no worries i mean you might have them but just remember you're protected at all times pile number one this has been your reading i really do hope you enjoyed it this is what's going on in the next three months if you did enjoy the reading please like subscribe and share and until then i will see you soon Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we're going to go on to pile number two and see what they have going on. Okay. Let's see what's happening in the next three months for pile number two. Pile number two, if you selected this card looking deeper, this little charm that says enough and the elephant, I feel like you're having, um, right now, you need to kind of retreat a little bit, okay? It's as deep within me as a majestic uh, radiance. I feel like you need to connect with your spirit. I feel like you've been, like, in the world a lot, and you have may you may be feeling like, you may be, I feel like you're, you've been comparing yourself to other people, what they have, and whether it's, what they have for travel or for their social media or their family or their money or whatever. I feel like you have been kind of comparing yourself to other people and feeling like you're not enough or you're never feeling like you may not have what you want in life, but you will. Okay. Is what I'm hearing, but you need to take the time to refocus on you and remember that your journey is your journey. Yes. It, you know, we see all this stuff on social media and, and it's, sometimes it is hard to go, wow, well, look, look at all that that this person has. But the reality is you're going to be blessed. And a lot of times you don't know what someone had to do or what happens behind the scenes to have what they have um, or whether, you know, in some cases it's it's not all that it appears to be. OK, but either way, you are going to focus on yourself and the blessings that are coming to you. So that's what one of the things you want to do in the next three months. With the elephant, I'm hearing there's a huge change on the way, a big dramatic change on the way for the better. So let's see. But first, you've got to kind of get your, your mind back together and your emotions back together to focus on yourself and to believe that you're enough. So let's see what else. Pile number two. What's going on for the in the next three months for pile number two? Please speak and tell us. Hey. Intuition, trust your intuition. Yeah. So that's again, you want to tap into your um your intuition and you want to tap into your own instincts right now by using meditation and prayer and positive affirmations to bring yourself back and focus on you. And you know, like even like building self-esteem and self-confidence if you kind of feel that you've you've lost that along the way. Choices, make the best choices. Yeah. So once you get your mind back in the right headspace and you get into that more positive state of mind, it's going to, you're going to be able to have clarity on which direction to go for this big, huge change that's on the way. Okay. You're, it's like you're realizing that certain things no longer like serve you and you're now going to make a change that's going to bring you into a much happier, more, even more prosperity and 
a lot more joy is coming, okay? But it is going to be a, a big change. That's where you've got the elephant. So let's see what else. What about in love? Okay. Clarity. There you are. So even in love, once you refocus on yourself, once you reaffirm your value, you're going to get clarity in a love situation. You're going to know, like if you're in some kind of situation that you've been kind of it's questionable and you don't, you just don't feel a hundred percent sure about, you're now going to get that clarity. Okay. But you want to do the meditation and the self-care work first so that you can get that clarity and gain it. Okay. So what else? Pile number two, what else is going on in the next three months for pile number two? Pile number two, what is going on? Okay, so let's see. Spirit animals are going to tell us something. Look at that. Believe in yourself. Yes. So that's another confirmation that right now is the time to remember how powerful you are and to remember your value and that you're so worth, like you you have so many talents and gifts and skills. And it's like, like, look at this squirrel. The squirrel is like, look at me. I've got my acorns. He's not worried about anyone else's acorns. He's, he knows his worth. He knows that he has, this is what he's sitting on. These are his talents, skills. And, you know, and the acorns are also telling me there is prosperity coming, you know. So if you've been down, you know, if you've had money issues and that's something that was bringing you down, this is the confirmation. But you have to believe in yourself to, to really get that energy and to get that to get the positive energy flowing to open these blessings okay look at this whale spirit trust the great mystery okay and again here's another huge animal so that's confirmation that this is a big big change okay and i feel like you're spiritually you're being spiritually assisted in making the transition for this big change okay what else what do they need to know for self care at this time, what will help them in the next three months to really build that confidence back up and to believe that they're enough? Okay, pile number two, you need to do deep breathing. Yep, that's going to really open you up and you're going to breathe in that power, your personal power. You're going to you're going to breathe out negativity, insecurity and doubt and you're going to breathe. You're going to breathe that out and you're going to breathe in confidence, power and and success. Okay, you're going to know your worth. Abundance planning, yeah. So with all of this abundance on the way, you also want to, to make a plan so that you don't just like when the money comes, you don't just kind of like blow it all. You want to make a plan just like a squirrel. They save and they squirrel away their acorns. So when your prosperity comes here, even now, you want to start getting organized in how you're going to what you're going to save, how much you're going to save, and then what you're going to use just for your daily, you know, budget and bills and things that you need to pay. Okay. So, so that's something that's going to be a focal point in the next three months because your money is increasing. Okay. So let's find out. Let's get three final messages with the wisdom inspiration ad advice cards. Okay. And we're going to shuffle, like keep on in. They're like, this is it. So be bold. Yeah. So again, you want to get your confidence back so that you can be bold and believe in yourself and in your dreams. Listen to your heart. Yes, that goes back to the intuition message. That's why we want to tap into through meditation the, those um, those deeper skills and powers that are that are given to you. They're you know your birthright. Lighten your load. Yeah, you're going to deep breathe. You're going to breathe out all the heaviness and breathe in the good light, positive energy. You are closer than you think. Yep. It's coming soon. This big change. Okay, so it also says think outside the box. Yeah. So that's why you don't want to focus on, you know, trying to copy anyone else's version of success. You want to create your own. And this is just a, the last reminder is baby steps. So, you know, don't worry about the timeline or whatever. Just in the next three months, take baby steps towards your goals because you are headed towards this big, beautiful change that includes prosperity and inc includes a lot of joy and you will have your confidence back. And that is so, so valuable. 
So pile number two, this has been your reading. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we're going to move on to pile number three and see what they have going in the next three months. What's going on? Pile number three, if you selected this card, Breaking Barriers, and this little pig and the lotus flower charm, this is your reading. It says, I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. Yes, you are breaking, you're moving past obstacles, okay? The bud, the flower, the lotus flower is opening. And I hear like this pig, the pig is, represents prosperity, but the pig, a pig, pigs are very intelligent creatures, very intelligent animals. So I'm hearing that your your intellectual powers are heightened at this time. You're going to be doing a lot of intellectual type stuff, like reading, um, reading, writing, um, doing a lot of things that require mental acuity and mental talents and skills. Okay. And like that's going to help you break through your barriers, any barriers that you've been experiencing, like it's time. The breakthrough is here. Okay, so let's see. Dove, take a leap of faith. Yes, it's like with this world here, I'm seeing like the whole world is waiting. They're waiting for you. Okay, so I feel like with the Lotus and with this card, you're going to be starting, you're going to be debuting like, something very new that you've created to the world okay and it's going to be well received okay look at this dragonfly live life to the fullest yes i feel like in the next three months this is a this is a reminder to you that you want to do things that make you happy okay things that make you smile things that you you know that's what makes life worth living. I mean, doing things you enjoy. I mean, work is great. We all have to work, but at the same time, you know, we all have to make a living and, and to, to survive, but you want to do fun things, things you like. I'm hearing outdoor activities, things with animals, um, things out in nature, whether you're going to take a walk or a hike, or even like I'm hearing some people like are going to be doing photography of, of beautiful scenes. Okay. In the next three months. And this picture is you're going to show this picture to other people. And I'm hearing it's going to like cause a big, um, like people are going to really like these pictures that you're taking. Wow. Here it is again. Here's the world again. So it says the collaborator, the, this is the moon card. I feel like you're, you're breaking barriers and you're bringing, um, something that you've created to the world. I feel like it's a creative or artistic talent that you're bringing to the world and you're finally going to show it to the world. I mean, it could involve your the pictures that I mentioned or some kind of videos that you're sharing with the world, but it's going to be highly well received is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's find out what else. Well, okay, <laughs> there's no waiting for that. Okay, Al Spirit, you see clearly now. Yeah, and again, it's that mental intelligence. It's helping you break these barriers and go beyond your normal limit, you know, beyond limitations. It's almost like you never expected to be able to do something, but you're doing it. You're going beyond. You're going, you're breaking any, breaking through any barriers that were there. Bobcat Spirit, life is a mystery. Yeah, you're being divinely assisted in breaking through those barriers where you don't even know what's going on. It's like so mysterious that even you aren't aware of who's really helping you do this, but you're being helped. I'm hearing like spirit guides are helping you on the other side supernaturally to break through barriers. So it's like, you're finally going to feel like, wow, like I'm, move, I'm moving beyond anything that was in my way and now I'm able to go forward with this new project and idea this creative expression and share it with the world okay look at that lay a beaver spirit lay a solid foundation this is a similar message to pile number two actually if you are interested in it's it's there's a lot of similarities with the message but this is letting you know that it's time to really make your dreams into 
Like you're going to now make money off something that was previously just an idea or you were planning it. In the next three months, it's going to start taking shape and actually you're going to manifest it now. You're going to start taking tangible steps, you know, in the 5D year to make it a reality and not just an idea. So let's see what, what is going on with self-care. And again, it's going to be very well received by the world. I'm hearing at a global level. So it's a, a worldwide thing where they're going to see your pictures or your videos or whatever project you're working on of your creative craft. So let's see what else. Next three months. So just keep working and making plans. Laying that foundation in the next three months. So that you can get ready to actually go, you know, go live or, you know, whoa, or go. Okay, we're going to this one on the side. We're just going to, we only need one for self-care. Okay. Aromatherapy. Okay, yeah. So right now, when you're doing all of this, even when you're working on your project, you want to have some kind of candle going or um, incense or some oils, you know, where, where you're, you want to make the environment very, um, conducive to your creative expression. Okay. And you can do that through aromatherapy. It's going to enhance your skills and talents. Okay. So let's go ahead and get three final messages for pile number three for the next three months. Please give us three final messages, wisdom, inspiration, advice. We're going to shuffle and take three for pile three, the next three months. One, two, three. Okay. Be your own hero. Yeah. So you're breaking these barriers. You have the courage to do it. And that's why you're able to get this fresh start, this new beginning. Okay. Do not give up. Right. And you haven't given up. And that's why you're now going to finally break through those barriers that were stopping you. Because you never gave up. And lastly, love yourself more, pile number three. Yes. It's like you are such a special, unique person. And I, I, sometimes you're focused on other people and looking at their talents and what they have. But it's time for you to also appreciate your own value and your own worth and to love yourself more. Wow, pile number three, this has been your reading. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies.